I'm Domestic Felicity and we're going to be making a bed canopy. This adorable bed canopy is super simple to make using things that you already have around your house or craft supplies that are easy to get a hold of. You're gonna kick yourself for not knowing it before. We're just gonna be using a large quilting hoop, two sheer curtains, scissors, or wire cutters, some jewelry wire that's pretty sturdy, and an eye hook unless you're going to be using it over the bed of a small child or infant, in which case you're going to want to make sure that you attach the canopy into a stud. This canopy could present a strangulation hazard to small children and infants, so it's really, really important that you attach it to a stud using a long screw if you're using it for small children and infants. First, taking the wing nut off of our embroidery hoop, I'm gonna just pull these pieces off and then gently Pull the screw out. Now using our curtain panels, you want to find the end of the panel that has the widest section. So the top has two stitches here. I'm going to use the bottom. Next I'm going to slide the curtain onto the hoop. There's one side done. We're just going to do the same thing to the other panel. Now we're going to reattach our hoop. Just slide the wing nut back on. and tighten it down. Don't go too far though because we're going to be using the bottom piece of the hoop. Now, using the bottom piece of our hoop, we're going to run a string of wire from one side to the other, making sure that they're attached carefully. I'm just gonna twist the ends to attach it. Then pull it across, and pull it tight, and do the exact same thing to the other end. Now taking the hoop with the curtain on it, just straighten out the curtain as best as you can, lay it down, and then widthwise from the top, we're going to lay our hoop in and tighten it just so that it'll sit. Not too snug because we still have to finish straightening our curtains. Now taking another piece of wire the same length, I'm going to go across here. We're going to attach the first end around both hoops. Now coming straight across, I'm gonna find where my curtain parts. I'm just gonna take the wire and attach it on this end as well. Next, we're going to take another length of wire, and this is the last length of wire that we're going to use, and create a connection here that comes up and forms a loop so that we can attach it to our eye hook. Taking my wire, I'm just going to run it underneath the intersection both wires here. Pull the wire up and twist. And this is where you control how far from the ceiling your canopy hangs. If you want it flush with the ceiling, then you need a much shorter wire. If you want it to hang down a little bit, then you need a longer wire. Now lastly, we're going to straighten our curtain out. Just wanna prevent any bunching and then spread out the gathering evenly. Once you have everything straightened, you're ready to hang it up. To hang up our canopy, first we're going to pre-drill a hole using a drill gun. Then we're going to hand screw our eye bolt in. Next, thread the wire through the eye bolt and then twist the wire to tighten it, making sure that it's very secure. Now you're finished. Canopies are a lovely way to add a touch of comfort and elegance to a baby nursery. Thanks for watching and have fun. First, taking the wing knot, knot. Once you have everything straightened, you're ready to hang it up. Oh, I'm really stupid. I should have attached this to the eye hook. Blast. This really simple bed canopy is made using things that you already have or craft supplies that are really easy to, am I making sense? Scissors or wire cutters. Some jewelry wire that's pretty sturdy. And, what's this called?